all over the country, people and their doctors are talking about pain medications. And doctors are trying to help patients who are on high doses get to safer levels of pain medication. When patients taper to safer levels, they often have more energy and are more active in their lives and with their families. And they also often have less pain. I decided that I needed to lower the amount of pain medication I was taking. And I had a conversation with my doctor about that. And I went in with a plan, an exercise plan, the reasons why I wanted to lower the dosage on my pain meds. And we had a great conversation and we started the process. When I decided that I wanted to reduce my pain medications, uh, I had some fears at the beginning I had been in previous situations where I did not have enough pain medication and as somebody that really relies on that pain medication for day-to-day -day abilities, the thought of not having it is very scary because for some of us you can't even get out of bed unless you have your pain medication. But when I got to the point to where the pain medication was hampering my abilities to do other things I wanted to do. I decided that I wanted to try and start decreasing the amount I was taking. The complete tapering process really started in my own mind, and then it went to putting my plan down on paper, making an appointment to see Dr. Halperin, arriving for that appointment, and then having a discussion with him about why I wanted to do it and what my thoughts were on how to do it. Then I listened to him uh, respond to my ideas, and uh, he came out with some suggestions of his own on a better way of actually tapering down. It had to be slow, and it had to be a progress where I was monitored while we went down. It actually, I was at on a 90 milligram amount of this medication, and I went down to 20 milligrams. However, that was about a year process to slowly decrease and get down. During the process of decreasing my pain medications, one of the important parts was the support that I got. And obviously I had the support of my wife and my family and, and friends. However, the most important support I got was from Dr. Halperin. And he was like a cheerleader when he had to be. He was a parent when he had to be. But most important, in my opinion, he was a friend that was helping me through this process who happened to have a license that could write prescriptions. I thought that I might have some side effects uh, like withdrawal syndromes or something like that um, when I started decreasing. However, like I said earlier, it was a slow decrease. And uh, similar to when we started low and went high, it was a little bit at a time. So I didn't really notice the extra pain medication and I didn't noticed the decrease really as we went down either. And part of my plan was to do more exercising, like taking walks. Um, my first walk was an hour and it was about a half mile. And at the end of that year where we got down to 20 milligrams, I was doing two miles in 20 minutes. So, you know, you can't just stop taking the medication or lowering the medication and not do something to improve your health. Now that I have reduced my pain medication, I feel better than I have before I ever needed to take pain medication. It's, um, it's difficult, especially for me, my, my issues with pain started when I was 40. I had for my first knee replacement at 40. And uh, a 40 year old with a cane and on pain medication is not something that, you know, when I was growing up, I foresaw myself being. And so there was some depression that went with that. And it was kind of this circle of negativity. The more pain I had, the more pain medicine I needed, and then the more depressed I got. And when I started decreasing, that circle went in reverse. The less pain medication I had, the more I could do, the less depression I had. And so I just keep that circle going counterclockwise now. And um, my life's fantastic. The biggest difference in my life now, from being on what I was and decreasing to what I'm on now, is like night and day. Um, if you like to sit on the couch and eat potato chips and watch cartoons, your life can be like that. I don't like doing that anymore. I enjoy getting out, going for walks, enjoying my life. It's much better. 
When I started to decrease my pain medication, like I said, I had had a plan that I'd written out and took into Dr. Halpern, and, and Dr. Halpern had some suggestions, and one of those was uh, physical therapy, um, to talk to um, a pain management uh, clinic, and um, diet. Um, well, we quickly ruled out the diet, because I'm not a gluten-free person, and since I'd had a lot of experience with physical therapists. I asked him if I could just do it on my own. Um, he went through some exercises with me and he knew that I would do the exercises. And for me, support group is not something that works for me. I know friends that go to support groups and they couldn't do it without them. Um, I'm more internally driven. Um, you know, a pat on the back every couple, two or three weeks is really all I need. And so he told me that he was along for the ride, but if he saw hiccups, that we might have to stop and reevaluate, and maybe I might need to go to a physical therapist, but we would see. And as it turned out, I didn't. I'm the type of person that doesn't like to fail. So when I started my program of exercising, I really didn't set a goal of, I'm going to run the Boston Marathon. I just figured I'm going to do more tomorrow than I did today and I didn't beat myself up. But what I did do is I got an app on my phone that would measure how far I walked and the time. And the important part was you could put that into history and then it would graph out your, your progress. And so by doing that, even if I only took five extra steps or only took two seconds off of my time the day before, I was always succeeding. And I think I had two days out of six months that I didn't progress over the day before. So that's what I used for motivation. I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart, if you or your doctor or a loved one is recommending that you give this a try, you need to do it. You'll be successful if you take it slow and with the help of your doctor. You have conversations with your doctor and as a team, the two of you can get your pain medications down to where you'll be able to do more things in life You'll enjoy life, you'll like yourself better, and everybody around you will like you better. It can be scary to decrease your pain medication. We now know that pain is complex and many things increase and decrease your pain. Some of these things you can control, such as getting back to more activity or learning to quiet your stress response, which may help you sleep better. As you taper your medication, you may find you have more energy to focus on these things and your care team is there to help you.